Hello, so this video is to um, show off the technique I've developed for double width weaving without the use of additional heddles or pickup sticks. Now, if you notice, I do have a little boat shuttle here that I'm using as a pickup stick. Um, and that's just because if you do have one extra shuttle or a pickup stick that you can use while you're doing this technique, it just saves you a little bit of time. It's not necessary but um, it does help kind of make things go quicker. So normally when you do double width weaving on a rigid heddle loom, the slaying of the reed is incredibly complicated because you have two heddles. Um, then you have to do a bunch of pickup sticks in a bunch of different places. So setting it up, and then if you have a folding loom like I do and folding it down and then put, bringing it back out later takes lots of time. All you do here is you, when you um, warp on, you're going to put two picks through each slot. Then what you do is you start on, on the left side and take one of the strings you want on the bottom and put it through the hole to the left. And then you just do that all the way across and you're done. That's it. You just thread one hole and then so you have three threads in the next slot, one hole, three threads in the next slot, so on and so forth. Then what you wanna do at that point is you wanna separate your layers. So whatever strings you want on the bottom, um, put those underneath of a pickup stick or at this point a shuttle. If you don't have a pickup stick, you can you know, use a shuttle in there just as easy. Um, and then what you're going to do is the um, leftmost string of the top layer um, in each hole slot is going to go on one pickup stick and all the rest go on the other. So what you end up getting here is the heddle is going to control the bottom layer by doing an up shed like this and a down shed like so. A little bit more tension it looks like. Um, then the top layer is controlled by your pickup sticks. So this stick right here for one part of it and then the stick for the other. So the order that you're going to do is fairly easy to remember. You're gonna start with the bottom layer first. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to put the heddle in the up position. And this is where you've got a choice. Like I said, um, if you don't have a spare shuttle or something to put underneath the um, top layer between the top and the bottom layer here like I did, um, what you do is you're going to put both heddle rods up, whoops, <laughs> like so, and that's going to give you your first shed. So I'll do it this way this time, and the next time I'll show you how I use the, the boat shuttle because I think it's a little bit quicker that way. And I'm just starting out here. So it's going to be important that these layers line up so that's what I'm doing here just with my header, making sure it's even across the back there. All right, so there's our first one. And then I'm gonna pop these down just for uh, ease. And there's my first pick. So now what you do is you're going to move on to the top layer now, and I'm going to do the first pick here. And then the second heddle rod. So I hope you can see already that I'm out of practice with this, um, but already it's going quite a bit faster than um, what you typically do with double width weaving there. And now um, I'm going to do a down shed. This is some stretchy yarn. Look at that, guys. It's already loose again. Well, I'm just going to keep it loose. And at the completion of this one, I will have my first pass done. So you can see we've got double width there. So let me show you how I do it with the boat shuttle because I think that's slightly easier. So again, 
we're going to do up shed and we just slide the boat shuttle up like this. That gives you a nice clean shed there for the bottom. Shuttle back. Beat. And we're going to do shed one on the top layer. I made that a little too tight. And then shed two on the top. So if you see my tabby jack here, that's what I'm calling these. This one's a little loose. It's just the rubber bands. I need to get a tighter rubber band on there. But um, it works just fine. Man, this thread. <laughs> it's no joke, man. Oh, let's take this off. thread. It's going to be lots of fun to work with, I can tell, already. I think I'm also, I have such a narrow area here because I, I want to show off the different techniques I've kind of developed so I didn't work a whole lot and I'm putting my angle way too severe for the short amount of thread I'm working with. But um, there you go, that's two picks now and you can see I have beautiful Double width, easy peasy. No need to spend all that money buying extra heddles. It's um, an easy peasy technique. I hope that when um, the tabby jacks are out of beta, beta testing, um, everybody will want to buy one. Um, but if you don't, this is still a technique you can do with two um, string heddle rods. So, um, I hope that makes everybody else as exciting, as excited as I was when um, I figured out how to do it. Um, after I figured out how to do this, I actually ended up selling one of my looms that I had spent a ton of money buying like double heddles for. Um, and now I just have this knitter's loom and a 20 inch knitter's loom, both with just um, all the Ashford heddles, but just one of each. Because again, there's no point in buying two when you can just use this technique and it's simpler, it's easier to see what you're doing, because again, you just remember the heddle controls the bottom layer, the sticks control the top, and when you do the upshed on the bottom, you just have to get the white strings up as well. And after that, it's just up, down, up, down, one, two, one, two, bada boom. If you want to do a tube, you do the exact same thing, but you just reverse the shuttle. Um, so you go up this way, then shuttle one, or, or stick one that way, and then when you go back this way, you want to catch that bottom layer. So instead of doing shuttle two, you do down shed here. And then you get the shuttle two on the way back. And that'll make a tube. If you want to um, tie these two together, so let's say like you're doing a tube and then you want um, it to be tied down right here to separate two tubes, for instance, that's easy peasy. Instead of doing what we did before with this or bringing these two up with this heddle, you just bring this one up. And then that is going to, let's get that out of the way, that right there is going to lock it down. So if you had um, an opening here, that would lock it down. Ta-da! So there's that. Um, have fun, guys.